Hello everyone, Janet here with Radiant Realty. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and stay a while and don't be shy. I love to hear your comments and questions. So today is a lot of fun because we are heading up to Whitefish and we're just gonna check out some of the multi-million dollar neighborhoods in Whitefish. Obviously, if you have this budget for your home, you could live pretty much anywhere. You don't need to be in a neighborhood, but for the videos and time's sake, we're just gonna go through some of the neighborhoods and see what we have to offer here in Whitefish. And if you are looking to buy or sell a property or home here in Montana, definitely reach out. I would be happy to answer any questions you have and I would be honored to help you with that. Our first neighborhood is on the south end of Whitefish off Highway 93 and it's called Whitefish Hills. And this neighborhood is really special. I just love all of the trees in this neighborhood, natural walking paths. I might carry bear spray when I walk here in this neighborhood, but it just has that all natural feel and I really, really love it. Also, quite a few homes in this neighborhood, at least two, but probably more have been featured in the Parade of Homes event that we typically have every September so that's a lot of fun as well. So I forgot to mention that today is Tuesday October 26th. It is 50 degrees out and it's actually sunny which is really nice because I thought it was supposed to rain all week this week. That's what the weather forecast said. We've had a really beautiful fall this year in Montana and I guess it's not over quite yet. Okay, so for Whitefish Hills amenities, it looks like they have community water, community pond, paved roads throughout, homeowners park access, miles of walking trails, remote vehicle storage. The HOA is $780 per year, undeveloped. $80 for Stell Lane Reserve Fund, $480 for open space, $120 for interior road reserve fund, and $100 for water system maintenance. Each lot owner will be assigned one uncovered parking space in the remote vehicle storage area. So that's kind of nice if you have a camper or a boat or something else like that that you need to be have stored that is included in your HOA fees there. And now we're just going to head a little bit north kind of to the intersection of Highway 93 and Highway 40. And we're going to check out the lakes in Whitefish. And this neighborhood has a community clubhouse so with the clubhouse, there is a pool, a spa, barbecue grill, theater room, exercise room. You can rent the clubhouse out. They have canoe and kayak equipment, vehicle and bicycle parking. So this neighborhood has a few lakes as indicated by the name. And then it also backs up to Whitefish River right over here. The Lakes of Whitefish is also near the Kids Sports Center, the North Valley Hospital, and um, the Walking Pass as well. And from here, we're heading downtown. If you are just one of those people that have to be in the heart of the action, be able to walk everywhere, this is the option for you. So this home is already under contract. Unfortunately, I will not be able to link to it below because it is already under contract. But this is an example of a home you could have in downtown, just a few blocks from the Performing Art Center, shopping, dining, uh, yoga, workout places, everything that you might want. And now we're going to head over to Whitefish Lake because of course in this price range, maybe you want a lake house. And Whitefish Lake is a beautiful lake with the Whitefish Mountain views. And here there are a few listings. I will link to them below. One of them is the $20 million listing on the north end of the lake. So be sure to check that out. So we will be heading up the mountain in just a moment, but we have to stop off at Iron Horse Golf Club and Community. This residential area is absolutely gorgeous. Hiking trails, biking trails, 18 hole golf course. The clubhouse here boasts a merchandise pro shop, fully equipped fitness center, men's and ladies locker rooms, private massage rooms. They have a beautiful carved wood bar, fine dining restaurant, has two outdoor swimming pools, four outdoor tennis courts, four outdoor pickleball courts, a marina on Whitefish Lake. They also have the Fish Camp Lodge, which is home to a kids camp, outdoor pursuit programs, fitness classes. 
It also serves as a gathering place for private events for members. Marina on Whitefish Lake offers kayaking, wake surfing, wakeboarding, water skiing, and tubing lessons on their surf boats. Membership here for the initiation fee for a golf membership is $200,000. Junior golf membership is $100,000. Social membership is $100,000. And the annual dues for a golf membership are $18,000. Junior golf, $9,000. And social membership, $9,000. Okay, so now we're going to head up to Whitefish Mountain. We've seen some lakeside neighborhoods, downtown neighborhoods, golf course neighborhoods, just some wooded natural path neighborhoods. But if you love skiing and snowboarding, maybe one of the mountain properties is for you. So let's go check them out. Okay, the first neighborhood that we are checking out is just before you reach um, the entrance for Whitefish Mountain and the lodge there. This is the Elk Highlands neighborhood. This neighbor does have its own personal ski lift that can take you to Whitefish Mountain. So you don't even have to get in those lift lines there. It'll take you and drop you off right on the home again run. This neighborhood also has some amazing views over Whitefish Lake and boasts the HTV Dream Home, I believe 2019. Um, but yeah, that is in this neighborhood as well. And now we're just driving through Elk Highlands that connects us to the village for Whitefish Mountain. So we'll head down there. There are some ski in, ski out condos being built there right now or getting started. They're actually almost fully reserved. Um, <laughs> but if that does interest you, that's an option as well. So let's go check out the village. So Landmark is going to be fully furnished ski in, ski out luxury residences. 30 feet from the ski lifts is going to have all kinds of amenities. I'm told there's going to be a coffee shop down below. You have valet parking, um, pools, hot tubs, gym, that sort of thing. So if that interests you, get in contact with me and I can get you some more information on that. And that completes our tour for today. As in all of these videos, this is by no means an exhaustive list. So definitely reach out if you're interested in this price range and I can get you some more details. Um, definitely click the links below so you can learn a little bit more about the listings in the areas that I mentioned today. However, if they are no longer available, it's going to tell you that they are no longer available, but you can definitely do another search there for new listings that have come on the market. Hit that notification bell so you get notified when new videos drop and I'll see you guys next week. Additionally, there are some beautiful properties on Blanchard Lake, off Farm to Market Road, up near Tally Lake. So definitely not an exhaustive list, but a good start.